So what we're doing right now is we're going to learn how to scan on the Epson scanner in the High Tech Center using the Epson 3170 photo scanner. Normally what you do is you go to Photoshop and inside Photoshop you'd go File, Import and you'd see the scanner listed. But we don't have that scanner listed here because it's not set up that way. So what we have to do is go directly to the scanning software. In this case you're going to go down to your start all programs you're going to find Epson scan and open it okay now when this pops up you're going to uh, usually get something that looks like this it's going to say full auto mode and unless you've scanned here and changed it that's what you're going to get but you want to put it on the professional mode so that you have access to all of the settings and the attributes so what we need to do first actually is we need to figure out the size of our image and uh, how big it is by inches and then we'll use Photoshop to calculate what it is uh, our resolution needs to be now in order for you to see my photograph I have to scan it so I'm gonna scan it first and then we'll look at the size alright so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick preview okay so here we have a picture of some people at a dinner I'm going to zoom in or I'm gonna kinda of mark out this area now when I mark out the area, in this case, see I can come down and I can see how big it is. 2 inches, 2.15 2 inches by 2.22 inches. About, you know, I'll make it a little bit bigger actually. So, so if I want this image to fit inside of an 8 by 10, then uh, in this case, the 8 is going to bump up against it. So I'm going to take this I'm just going to take these 2.26 by 2.56 it is and then I'm going to use those numbers to figure it in so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back to Photoshop we're going to create a dummy file file new it's going to be you're going to make it 8 inches make sure it says inches and not pixels 8 inches by 10 inches at 300 pixels per inch hit OK so we have our target resolution our dummy file we're just using this as a calculator so what we're going to do is go into our image and image size and we now see a similar screen as we did when we, when we set it up what this shows us is we have 2400 pixels wide by 3000 pixels high that's really what's going on here because 8 times 300 is 24 10 times 300 is 3000 right so what you're really dealing with are the pixels and their dimensions so back over in the scanner we measured this now you might be using a ruler holding it up here to figure out what this is first but we're using this to figure it out what it is so based on what I've outlined I'm gonna actually make it a little bit bigger so I can include some more breathing space on this couple who happens to be my grandma and grandpa okay so we have a size of about 2.4 almost by 2.75 okay so the width I can tell by the dimensions that the width is gonna hit the 8 before the height hits the 10 so I know that for this one to keep it within the 8 by 10 standard size I'm going to have to use the width, which in this case is 2.38. So we're going to go back over to Photoshop. And on the width, I'm going to enter 2.38. And notice I did not have resample checked, which allows the uh, resolution to adjust when I change the size dimensions in inches. Notice that the pixels of this target file have stayed exactly the same they did not change 
but what did change is the resolution and you can tell here that if I want to get a good scan I need to do it at a, a little bit above a thousand so that's all this was for we just needed this to figure out what our resolution was we can now hit cancel we can even close this file because we don't need it anymore we can go back to the scanner and we can come over to the uh, settings we'll find the resolution which right now is set at 24 now it just needs to be above a thousand right a little bit above a thousand so actually a thousand ten or whatever now this is twelve hundred that will work that's correct now if it said I needed it to be at thirteen hundred this twelve hundred wouldn't work and then I would go ahead and scan at twenty four hundred but twelve hundred is going to work just perfect now a lot of times when you first go into this program the scanning software some things are going to be automatically set and if you noticed when I defined the area to scan it adjusted the exposure and that's okay auto exposure is on right over here but what's not okay is a lot of times the unsharp mask filter or another one of these may be on like this and you do not want that on you want to make sure you go here and uncheck it if it's turned on because that will perform a filter a degrading filter on your scan before you even get it into Photoshop and if you want to do a an unsharp mask you want to do it intentionally on purpose in Photoshop you don't want it to be arbitrary so now that I have my resolution got my area defined it's a little bit bigger than what I need which is just perfect now we're going to go hit scan and because of the way this is set up it's not going to scan directly into Photoshop if you're doing this at home and you are able to go file import it will scan directly into Photoshop and then you'll be able to work in Photoshop you might have to close your scanning software first so what we have to do is we have to save it as a TIFF not as a JPEG at this point because we don't have a Photoshop format to save it in but TIFF is a lossless compression scheme which means you won't lose any quality if you save it as a JPEG you're going to lose quality and I'm going to see it and it's going to be obvious you got to save it as a TIFF before it goes into Photoshop and then you'll save it as a Photoshop document once it's in Photoshop so here I'm going to give it just a name um, uh, grand for grandparents okay so I'm gonna go um, doesn't let me browse so I guess right here it's sent saving it to my pictures inside of my my H drive but I, I guess I could click on my documents or whatever or I could do other and then go locate a, a location now if you want to be safe you could actually do that you could click on other go to browse click on your my computer and to be safe you could actually save it in your S drive so over here on your is your S drive where you have a lot of space for this class drag down to courses go down to this class which is CIS 120 AF which is this one here and then you're going to locate your particular year and term which is going to be just obvious for you you're not going to see all the things I see right here and so I'll put this as if I'm going into my student file but anyway we're going to go to uh, in this case I'll go to the fall one and you're going to find your username and it's only going to be one up there it's going to be easy to find you're not going to see all these files and uh, I'm going to choose this one here that's where it's going to go and I'm going to hit OK and then it's going to take its time scanning so it's scanning at 1200 not, it's not too high of a resolution but it's still pretty decent so it's going to take a couple of seconds here so remember if uh, if you were scanning from Photoshop you would have went file import and it would have right now been going to Photoshop but because we did this separate of Photoshop outside of Photoshop we're having to save it separate of Photoshop and, and we're saving it as a TIFF then when it saves we're going to open it up into Photoshop okay now that we're done scanning if you don't have any more scanning to do you can go ahead and close the scanning software now that that software is closed I can go and open up that file now in this case it popped up right in front of me but I'm gonna use Photoshop to navigate so you can see where to find it 